back on the road, we were headed for adventure, an up-close encounter with African wildlife. Drew Ferris would be our guide at the Safari West African Wildlife a Preserve. Car and a... Founded in 1972 as a wildlife preserve on 400 acres of rolling hills, the adventure attracts over 60,000 visitors a year. We opted for a tour in a classic Dodge Power Wagon, the perfect vehicle for a trek into the back country. But there are also hikes, guided tours, and even overnight stays in safari tent cabins. We have different sections. We have a 12-acre section, a 100-acre section, a 100-acre section, a 150-acre section. So in other words, we have our animals co-mingling and herds with other herds, things like this, which makes a very interesting experience when we drive you out into the middle of many different herds of animals. The wine country weather is ideal and the native grass and trees create an environment much like the animal's African homes. Drew and the safari founders, Nancy and Peter Lang, also live here. Welcome to our home. Our pets are a little different than everybody else's. Certainly a little taller. The herds of giraffes were tall and nosy. They wanted to know who these strangers were in their homes. Many of the animals were born here. The giraffe that's in my right hand was born three years ago in August, this coming August. And the one that's in the middle was two years ago this month. So we've had a number of babies. Where do you find a vet that knows what to do with a giraffe? Well, we are very fortunate to have a staff veterinarian here, and he is a retired zoo vet. Word must have spread about our supply of tasty branches. We were swarmed by more giraffes here, as we boy. drove through the Come park. On, they weren't shy or dainty eaters. Oops, it, dis it disappeared. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> this is something you'll no, never that? experience in a zoo. You gotta come up here and hang out with me to do this kind of stuff. Nubian ibex, kudus, cape buffalo, rhinos, and more can be found on a trek through Safari West. We could understand the allure of booking an overnight stay in one of the tent cabins or joining one of the naturalists for a hike into the backcountry to see where the wild things roam. Before we left, Drew wanted to check out our wild horses. He didn't mind that we couldn't feed the Ferrari some tree branches instead of gas. I gotta have one. 